Have you ever heard of the green-skinned, enigmatic children who suddenly appeared in the small village of Woolpit during the 12th century? In the heart of Suffolk, England, nestled between cornfields and meadows, lies the village of Woolpit. It was here in the mid-12th century that two peculiar children emerged. Their skin bore an unusual, otherworldly green hue, and their tongues spoke an unfamiliar language that left the villagers perplexed. These weren't ordinary children. Their clothes were of an unknown material, and they seemed to have arrived from nowhere, their origins shrouded in mystery. But it wasn't just their appearance that was strange. Their dietary habits were equally baffling. At first, they refused all food offered to them, surviving only on beanstalks they found in the fields. It was as if they were from another world, unfamiliar with the food and customs of Woolpit. But with time, the children adapted. They began to eat other foods, and as they did, their green hue gradually faded. They learned to speak English, and slowly they assimilated into the society of Woolpit. Yet their past remained an enigma. Where did they come from? How did they end up in Woolpit, and why were they green? Their unusual arrival and strange features baffled the villagers then and continue to puzzle us today. The mystery of the green children of Woolpit remains one of history's most intriguing riddles. The origin of these children has been a topic of debate among historians, with theories ranging from the mundane to the bizarre. Over the centuries, various conjectures have been put forth, each adding a new layer of intrigue to the green enigma. One such theory suggests the existence of an underground world, a realm hidden beneath our feet. Supporters of this idea point to the children's green skin and unfamiliar language as evidence of their subterranean origin. But as tantalizing as this notion may be, no concrete proof has been found to substantiate it. Then. There's the extraterrestrial hypothesis. Some speculate that the children might be descendants of stranded alien travelers, their green skin being a telltale sign of their off-world lineage. Yet this theory too lacks empirical support and is largely dismissed by mainstream scholars. A more grounded explanation proposes that the children were lost inhabitants from a nearby village. Perhaps they spoke a local dialect, misunderstood as an alien language. This theory, while less sensational, is considered more plausible by many historians. Despite these varied theories, there remains a lack of consensus among scholars. Each explanation offers a fascinating perspective, yet none provides a definitive answer. The conundrum of the green children of Woolpit continues to perplex, prompting us to question our understanding of the past. Despite the many theories, the truth of their origin remains as elusive as ever. With advancements in science and historical research, new perspectives have been shed on this age-old mystery. The green hue of the children's skin, once attributed to otherworldly origins, may have had a more earthly explanation. Modern medical knowledge suggests the siblings could have suffered from a rare condition called chlorosis, which can give the skin a greenish tint. This condition is often linked to poor nutrition or a lack of iron in the diet, a plausible scenario for two lost children in the 12th century. The children's unfamiliar language, though still untranslatable, has also been a focus of recent investigations. A breakthrough came when an old manuscript was unearthed, inside which was a reference to the green-skinned children. This discovery gave credence to the belief that the tale was based on real events, not just legend or folklore. These new findings have added more layers to the mystery, making it even more intriguing. The tale of the children of Woolpit has left a lasting legacy, a fascinating enigma that continues to captivate us. Today, this small English village embraces its unique place in history. The story of the green children is not forgotten. Instead, it is celebrated, woven into the fabric of the local heritage. Every year, villagers commemorate this intriguing tale with a festival where stories are shared and the spirit of the green children is brought to life. This celebration serves as a testament to the villagers' resilience in the face of the unknown and their willingness to shelter those in need, no matter how different they may seem. The tale has also inspired numerous works of literature and art, fueling the imagination of authors, poets and artists worldwide. It's a story that, despite its age, continues to resonate, proving that history is not just about facts and dates, 
but also about the mysteries that spark our curiosity. Who knows what other hidden mysteries lie in the annals of history? Stay curious, keep exploring, and until next time, farewell.